Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time. Today I am repotting this beautiful fiddle leaf fig. It is pretty new to the plant family here, but I noticed that the roots were overgrowing and that's a key indicator that you want to repot your fiddle leaf or if you had any other plant that was showing this sign because the roots are sensitive and they can burn and they need to be under soil. That's the only reason why I'm replanting this fiddle leaf fig today. Otherwise, I would have left him alone. Fiddle leaf figs specifically don't like to be repotted. They don't even really like to be moved. <laughs> They're pretty sensitive, I would say, uh, moderate in terms of care. They are not the easiest if you're a beginner, but they are amazing plants. They're definitely a statement piece, and I think they're really beautiful. So quick shout out to Target. I was waiting for a little while for my online order pickup that I placed. And since it was taking a little bit, it gave me a little $5 gift card. There's a beautiful plant back here. Look at these leaves. I want it. It's way back there. And if you come around... It's, it's behind the shelf. I can't get to it. Got the pothos up here. I can't remember what that plant's called, but that one's down there on the floor. Got this big one, <laughs> really squeezing in. And then the poor fiddle leaves. I had to lay them down. They were just too tall. So, it's Plant City in here. We've got all of our supplies now. We went to Target. I've already got some pre-made soil here from the last time I mixed up some soil when I did my garden tutorial video. So I've got soil. I've got this beautiful pot I'm going to be putting it in. This, I think this is currently a 12 inch pot. And this is a 14 inch in diameter. And that's an ideal size when you're going to up pot your plant. You really want to up pot it in a pot that in diameter is 
two inches bigger. You can go up to four, but you really don't want to do anything bigger than that when you're repotting. You want it to be a slow, gradual adjustment for your plant. I had just finished repotting my fiddle leaf fig. I figured I have quite a few plants that need to be repotted right now. Anyways, so the first one that needs to be repotted that I talked about in one of my recent videos is this lemon lime maranta plant. It's absolutely beautiful. He's very thirsty right now. That's why he's kind of droopy and limpy. I noticed the other day he has roots growing out of his pot. Roots growing out of the bottom of a pot is a very clear indicator that your plant needs to be repotted because it needs more space, it's trying to grow, and so it needs more soil, it needs a bigger pot. This is currently in a four inch pot. I am gonna be putting this in a six inch pot. I'm pretty sure this is six inches. It could be eight should probably measure this stuff, but I think it's a six inch. So let's start repotting. So I've got soil here. We're gonna fill the new pot one third of the way. You wanna lightly squeeze the base of the pot. I don't like to cut them open, I like to reuse them. Sometimes it's necessary though. And we're gonna gently lift it out and then put it in its new pot. Oh yeah. Look, oops. Look at all the roots. At the bottom. So we're gonna give him some more space now. I don't know why all my plants are keys. Then we're gonna backfill it. So we're just gonna fill along the sides. Dang it. All right, there we have it. We have a newly repotted lemon lime maranta. Now, after you repot it, you want to give it some fresh water. If you remember from my Calathea video that I did, these plants don't like regular tap water. The next plant that I want to repot is this. I think it's called a peperonium. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's really pretty. Kind of got like a deep purpley color. Really cute. And the reason I want to repot this is I've just found that as adorable as these two inch pots are, they're kind of annoying. You have to water the two inch pots a lot more often because there's not a lot of soil. Okay, so I have this pretty white one. This could work. Got this like yellow one. Got this orange one. I think I'm gonna put this one in the white one. Yeah, let's do that. In this case, I'm gonna fill the pot about halfway. Gently lift it out. Like so. Put it right in its new pot. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to backfill and we're going to try not to make a mess. Okay. So he 
he's all repotted now. I'm gonna give him some water. in the nursery pot that the Maranta lemon lime was in because the other pots are a little too big for this one. I do have a trick for this. When the nursery pot sinks too far into the cover pot, if you put a little bit of styrofoam at the bottom, or if you put cardboard or anything like that at the bottom, you can prop it up a little bit so that it sits up enough so you can still see your pretty plant. sure if this guy's gonna make it. He's a little unhappy and droopy. We'll see. Last one's gonna be this fun guy. It's like a little palm tree. I think this is a fun color for him. this video doing some repotting with me hopefully you learned something or maybe you just enjoyed watching I find repotting and spending time with my plants to be very peaceful if there's any questions that you have leave a comment let me know what type of video you'd like to see next and I hope to see you at the next video